He obviously wanted to give that a shot, and he gave it a shot. And ever since then, he's, uh, I mean, always growing up, he always uh, just kept getting better and better. And people maybe kind of wrote him off. And uh, he just kept, kept working at it, and he's very committed. I'm pretty proud of him to get to this point, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he cracks us the lineup to, uh, for opening night. Did you expect him to be ready this early? Like, even after you signed the deal last year, to be maybe NHL ready? Um, you know what? I, again, uh, he had a big injury at the end of last year where he missed the second half of the season. I, if he didn't get hurt, I, th I think he would have. Uh, it would have been maybe a different set of expectations on him, but uh, he did get hurt. and. Uh, everything happens for a reason, and uh, Chicago, their interest in him didn't seem to waver. Just talking to him about it, and they were, uh, they seemed to be pretty interested in wanting to, to sign him, and uh, he was very intrigued by uh, all that. And their organization's obviously first class. I've gotten a chance to, in my draft process, meet with uh, meet with some people in there, and uh, kind of see what that city's all about and that organization's all about. So that's, I mean, you couldn't be happier for him to end up in a place like that too. So uh, again, we'll see what happens uh, for opening night, but hopefully, he can. Uh, Crack the lineup. James, how different is the identity and makeup of this team without Colton now, without Fraser, McLaren, a uh, designated kind of enforcer type in the lineup? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, those guys are great teammates and uh, contributed a lot to the to this team. And you never know what can happen throughout the course of the year if they'll uh, be back at some point. So uh, again, it's not really maybe looking at it as as ultimatum uh, as maybe you guys might be. But uh, again, obviously, uh, the game has changed a little bit in the last five or ten years and um, teams are constructed a little bit differently nowadays so uh, I guess I, I guess things tend to happen and those decisions obviously are out of uh, out of our control as players. James what did you like about your camp as you prepare for the start Wednesday? Um, I mean I always pride myself on coming in in uh, good shape and again you want to use the training camp to get your timing back and get up to speed and uh, get everything feeling good and I try to just get better and better every day as far as just uh, feeling ready for the season and I think uh, I think we're all feeling Pretty uh, excited now, and it's been a long couple weeks here with training camp and all these exhibition games. But uh, we're excited to get started. Yeah, was this training camp uh, different at all from the one that Randy ran last year? Was he whipping the cracking the whip harder? Um, or different? It's tough to say. I mean, this is like the first year where we really had a, a full training camp, as opposed to where a lockout year and uh, the Olympic year last year, where everything seems to be uh, so condensed, but even this year we played what eight exhibition games and all those nights, so it doesn't really necessarily let you do as much practice wise because there's so many games. So, uh, again, I thought it was a good camp as far as getting us ready to play, implementing the systems and what we needed to do. And I think, I mean, it's from day one of camp to now, I think we're all a lot more comfortable and confident as far as uh, the different things we're trying to do as far as uh, system wise and stuff, too. So, that's obviously what training camp is all about and the, the goal at the end of the day. And looks like if you take care of the neutral zone, good things happen. There seem to be a, a focus on that, at least in this skate here today. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, that's uh, obviously a key part of the ice. And uh, if you have a, if you're good in the neutral zone, you don't have to play as much in your own end, and you can play a lot more time on offense. And everyone uh, wants to be in the offensive zone, cycling, and it's it's a lot more fun to work hard in that end than it is to work hard in your own zone.